Let's turn it on. Three salts. Oh, man. What? It was a moth. So it's not the end of the world. It could be the end of Underworld. What if it's laid eggs? Moths never fly so long. I can't believe it. Broad daylight. Must have come in on summer. Or else we've got a nest. So I think you're overreacting a little bit. You could have gone to Oxford, yeah? So? On moths in a fabric factory. Heard to Daniel. Ah, uh, Daniel receiving. I better check the stop room. Hostile tips from Jimmy Cripps. If you enjoyed my series on wasp nests and other pests, you're going to love these knockout techniques on dealing with the ultimate fairy fiends, moths. Get on with it. Did you know there's over 2,500 varieties of moths in the UK alone? I don't really care, Jimmy. I just want you to tell me how to get rid. And after you've done that, I'm, I'm using this move. I saw it this morning. Sorry about that. Who was it? Oh, yeah. Place the clothes in your freezer. The low temperatures will kill any eggs and larvae. Brilliant. Uh, I'm worried. I think I've done something at the factory. Oh, like what? Well, I bought Sinead all this vintage clothes oh. and I took them into Underworld and they were full of moths. Seriously? Is that bad? Bad? Have you any idea how much damage that could do? I mean, moths in a knicker factory, all that fabric, you'll ruin the place. Please tell me you're joking. Well, Of course, I mean, Muppet. Honestly, a few moths in the knicker factory, I mean. They'll just fly out the window, won't they? You sure? Don't worry about it. Just maybe don't tell Alia. I'm so relieved I could hug you. Mm -hmm. I don't think Mrs. would approve of that. Speak of the devil. Uh, see you later. See ya. Well, what did she want? Nothing. 